Bunny, and I'm sorry if you hear any loud banging in my house today, like in the background of the video. I don't know what's going on. Things are getting a little bit creepy around here. It's happened like five times today, and I'm totally home by myself, and it sounds like it's coming from the back of the house. There's nobody here but me, and it's like a loud banging, like boom noise, like almost if somebody was like shuffling about in the garage or something. What's going on? But today's video is going to be a shoe unboxing. I haven't done one of these in forever, so I am so excited to do one today. And today's video is going to be like a double header. It's like two pairs of shoes in one video, and they are both spider themed shoes so they're perfect for halloween or year round if you're like me and you like creepy things and spiders if you're an arachnophobe this video may not be for you they are two pairs of shoes from dolls kill and they are exclusive through that website so that's the only place that you're going to be able to get these and they are both by the brand dolly bay which is a new brand i'm pretty sure on dolls kill so the very first pair of shoes that we have is kind of like a high top boot type of thing and they have these chunky clear soles and what these are full of is little plastic spiders and every time you walk in them they make this like little like almost like two tiny little maracas are shaking on your feet every time you move up and down but that's because all of these little plastic spiders in here are shaking around these are pretty comfortable they are a little bit on the heavier side but i think any chunky platform boot type of shoe is gonna have that weight to it especially these ones i think i've had a couple other pairs of shoes that have plastic in the bottom i know for sure i have the jeffrey Campbell ones that came out years ago that have the little baby dolls in them. Anything that has this kind of like plastic base to it is just kind of inherently heavy but that doesn't bother me. I find these exceptionally easy to walk in. I can usually walk in heels that are stilts as long as they have like a cutout but like when they're just platforms like this I usually kind of like will stumble around or not be able to walk in them as easily but I have absolutely no problem in these and they fit totally true to size so I'm a size 7. These are a size 7. I can wear these barefoot or I can wear them with socks either way and they're still comfortable. They have laces in the front and then kind of like these skater lace things on the top where you crisscross them almost like ice skates or something. The upper has this awesome black on black spider web design. So they just look really awesome. I definitely think that these could be for year round wear. And then the next pair, which is also spider themed, are shoes that look a lot like the Unif Hellbounds and they have a similar heel style. These are some of my favorite styles of shoes to wear where they've got this like big chunky heel and a very chunky platform. They're very comfortable and very easy for me to walk in. Anytime I post a picture of shoes like this on Instagram, people are like, how do you not die while walking in these? And practice honestly makes perfect. When I first started wearing shoes like this, it I did feel like a little bit shaky, like I was gonna fall. But once you get used to it, it's super easy and then you just don't even think about it. I've been asked several times to make a video about how to walk in shoes like this, but you literally literally just put one foot in front of the other and it also helps if you're not like mountain climbing in them or walking on a very rocky terrain. Once again they have a clear heel that is full of spiders and when you walk and move around the little spiders jump and then once again the upper has a web design but since this is white on black it's a much more pronounced web design and I really like these. The only thing that I'm not 100% crazy about is this little faux sock 
top thing and just personally I'm not sure that I would want to have that all of the time and I'm pretty good at DIY DIYing or like deconstructing things and it's just basically sewn on the inside so I think I'm gonna take a seam ripper and just kind of remove this little sock thing it's cute but for me personally I would kind of just like to have the option to wear it with the little sock things or without you could probably also just fold it in on the inside and then just stick your foot inside and then you still wouldn't see the sock thing but I think I'm just going to cut it out because just for my style personally I believe I would wear them more without the sock thing but I tried these on with leggings the other day and when I was wearing it with the leggings I thought the little sock thing was super cute. Once again they fit totally true to size and are very comfortable both with and without socks and they have a very similar lace-up style where you know it's it's like just regular lacing and then kind of the ice skate lacing at the top and both of the shoes actually zip in the back so you can really tie it for what's comfortable for your foot and ankle and then just not tie it and untie it you can just really unzip it and sneak your foot out of it and I almost feel like these are a little bit more lightweight than the last shoes that I showed you guys I will link you guys to both of these pairs of shoes in the info box if you want to look at them, check them out. That's pretty much it. Like this video if you have missed shoe unboxing videos. Thank you guys so, so much for being here today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!